Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video I am going to be organising all of my makeup which is a job that I've been putting off for a very very long time. Things in here are getting really cluttered. I recently sorted out my dressing room, all of my clothing, everything is very organised clothing wise but makeup, skincare, hair care, it's a mess and I just have drawers and boxes of things everywhere. So I wanted to go through it all with you today. I'm going to be looking at things I'm going to be keeping, throwing away, giving away, selling. So I'm just going to put it into like little separate boxes, I think, and try and be a little bit organised. I am going to be quite strict on myself because I just feel like these days I know what I like and I don't want loads of makeup and stuff around me. I just want the bits that I love and maybe a few little side bits that I'll use when I want to try something different or do a different look or something like that. Or like things that I don't hate but I don't use all the time but apart from that I'm going to be very very brutal also I think a lot of the stuff that I've got is probably very expired because it's just things that I've bought and I wanted to try out I've used them then I put them in a box somewhere and just I didn't want to throw them away so I've just left them to kind of give you an idea this is my daily makeup box and here is a mess so I'm going to organize that and make sure that I've only got the daily makeup that I love in there normally I have nothing else on here but these bits are like slowly creeping out of the drawers here because these drawers are full so I need to sort out so that these bits fit in this drawer this drawer let me show you this is I mean oh my god look at it it was actually very organized this is my eye mask it's a bit of a funny eye mask because it says like love me on it it looks a bit raunchy but actually it's just such a nice eye mask anyway that was a side note but yeah look at this I mean seriously this needs organizing there are actually boxes in here and it's kind of organized but it's just very messy and then all of these boxes up here have stuff in them they're like fake tans creams makeup brushes I think they're kind of half organized but not really so very very excited to start getting organized with this but before I get into it this video is sponsored by HelloFresh so I just want to take a few minutes to talk about them so if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you will know that I have been using and loving HelloFresh for a long time now they are such a convenient way to cook meals especially if you lead a busy lifestyle and also if you just don't like shopping in the supermarket I don't enjoy supermarket shop so for me to have everything delivered to the door already measured out with the recipe and the instructions ready to go and I can literally just come home from work and cook a meal that to me is perfect they're also very tasty there's loads of meals to choose from about 44 different meals I think there was last week that I could choose from and also there's options like family favourites, rapid meals which only take 20 minutes to cook, those are some of my favourites just because when I'm hungry I'm hungry and I want food now so the 20 minute ones are what I typically go for but then if there's something extra special I will try that out like yesterday I tried out these chicken bao buns and oh my god they, these have been the best meal that I've had from HelloFresh so far. I also chose these two meals as well for the rest of this week so I have 21 day age sirloin steak with roast potatoes and then I also picked up this one again which I've had this one before and it is one of my favorites this is a quick one this is a 20 minute meal this is a spicy creamy Cajun chicken pasta if you are interested in trying HelloFresh out I do have a great discount code for you today which is HF Tilly and this gets you 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next two months worth of boxes so it's a really good way to try it out and also to get some very heavily discounted food I will leave all the details on the screen and I'll also pop a QR code in case you're watching on TV so you can just scan the QR code and then the deal will just pop up for you. I feel like HelloFresh is already affordable but then with the extra discounts it's kind of a no-brainer just to give it a go. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring that segment of today's video and now let's get in to organizing this room. So so excited for this. Okay guys I kind of don't know where to start but I'm thinking this drawer would be a good place to start because this is where I want all of my stuff to fit in really. So I'm feeling like I should empty this drawer out and then refill it. So I'm going to start by doing that. Getting a little bit anxious about this because there's a lot of loose stuff in here as well as everything that's in the boxes. But I'm going to just try and just do it as neatly as possible. And then yeah, see where we get to with this. It's crazy how much things just accumulate. I 
I also have this drawer here, which is kind of like a little tray drawer, but I don't really want anything on here because I'm thinking I would quite like to pop my like notepad, diary, iPad on here, just as like a little area that I can pull out and like jot notes down and stuff. Cause I love note writing and I love lists. So this would be a really nice place just to maybe have, yeah, kind of like a little desk that I put away. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that with this area instead of having all of this random stuff on here. Okay, then next I have things up on the shelf here. Um, this is just makeup that I just don't use. I never ever go in here. So this stuff really, I think a lot of this is gonna be the expired stuff that's gonna to have to go in the bin. This one here, I, I don't know what was happening. We've got brushes, foundations. We've even got perfumes in here empty little pots that I've decided to keep. So yeah, this is also probably a lot of this is gonna go in the bin, not the brushes. I think I'm gonna, I'll keep the brushes. They always come in handy. Um, and then, so that's those, Let's get rid of them. And then we have up here as well. Um, oh my God. I think this is like fake tans, but also random stuff I buy, glasses, Makeup, oh my God, this has got all sorts in here. Oh my God, this is, oh, I wondered where those have gone. Oh, glad I found those. These are brand new powders and they're really good ones. What color is this? 21. These are Korean face powders. They're by the brand, I think it's Eglips. Um, these are really good and my friend got them for me from Korea and I put them somewhere safe and then like couldn't find them again. So there they are, that's great. So I've got some face powders there, so I'll definitely be keeping those. Um, but yeah, this box is filled with junk, probably. This is more fake tanning stuff here. Oh my God, I really didn't realize all the stuff that I've got. I've just noticed there's even more behind there. Oh dear, why have I started this job? This could be a two day job, you know. Okay. This is filled with stuff too. Guys, help me. I am a makeup beauty hoarder. Right, let's pop these bits on the floor. And I think my new plan of action is I am going to put everything across the floor, all the individual pieces, spread them across the floor and just sit in the middle of them and just go through each individual item. I, I Oh my god i've just found this <laughs> so cute this is actually a valentine's card that ollie made for me years ago it says to my valentine but obviously this looks like just um you know he looks like he's just forgotten to buy me a valentine's card for i'll quickly make one from this piece of paper but actually inside it is the most sweetest poem um ever so I am actually so pleased that I've come across this. Um, I won't read the poem out on YouTube. I will not expose Ollie like that. But yeah, cute find. Okay, guys, I am regretting my decision in pouring all of this makeup all over the floor. But I really feel like it was the only way to do it. Oh, hang on. We have another one here. Pop this in the middle. I just feel like it's the way to do it. Okay, I'm feeling very destructive today. Okay, I am back from lunch and I have changed my top just because, I don't know, I was feeling like my outfit was just so random. And then also my crop top underneath, it kept slipping down and I was so worried that my nipple was gonna show. And then I would film this whole video of organizing this and then realize when I get to editing that my nipple was out. So 
I decided the safe bet was to change. So that is why I'm wearing something different. Anyway, let's get into organizing. So I think I'm gonna start off filling out these bits first, because these are the bits that I'm gonna pop into the drawer. So I'm gonna have one that is gonna be hair stuff, and then I'm gonna have one that's gonna be makeup stuff. I hope you guys can see if I put them here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put these two baskets here at the back and then what I'm going to do with those is pop in there everything that I might sell or give away um, and then I'm just going to put in the other one just all the stuff that's going to go in the bin um, and yeah so I think that let's just get started and stop talking about it. with this i actually do quite like this one it's like a shimmery body glitter thing and it smells like gingerbread so i will keep that one i can go in my fake tan section um this bronzer i'm actually going to bring this one back out and use that so i'm going to pop that in here uh this was a foundation i've had for ages not right in the bin uh this is quite a nice gradual tan from bondi sands keep that one thing is some of these uh, fake tans I've actually had for quite a few years they've just been sat in the cupboard and I just think after a while like fake tan is I just would rather a fresh fake tan so I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of them um, and just keep the older ones I'm also keeping all these little samples although this one that one feels funny so I'm going to get rid of that one but I do have quite a lot of little sample things that I've got, you know, when I've bought stuff online and that. I am going to keep all of my little samples because I do use these when I go on holiday and stuff. These are really good, actually. These are Dermatica um, face creams and they're like made for your own skin type. And you like subscribe to it and you get sent them. I think it's like every month or something. They are actually really good. They have active ingredients in them and they got rid of a lot of my breakouts and my skin was really good. Um, I have stopped using them now. I don't know why, just because I like to chop and change things. But if you have any skin concerns, like breakouts and stuff, I would really recommend checking out this brand because their stuff actually works so nicely. And it's like more of a prescription thing, like an actual dermatologist puts together the ingredients for your skin specifically. So yeah, I will recommend them, but these are both empty. I don't know why I've kept them. Oh, this is Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, that's horrible. Ugh. What's this? No. This is my favourite gradual tan ever. It's the Tan Lux The Gradual. I actually have a video of this uh, testing it out when I first ever tried it on my channel. It's one of like my first videos um, and I still absolutely love it. Uh, there's only a tiny bit left in here but I will be buying more of this. Um, I also love the packaging and it's very small and easy to travel with. The only thing is like it has leaked a little bit around here so maybe it's not so good to travel with. It's just a very nice milky textured gradual tan and um, yeah, it leaves your skin really nice. So I've probably only got one body's worth left in there, but I will use that up, so I'll keep that one.
jewellery in it and I thought, well, what's that jewellery? And I've just opened it up and this is a necklace that I bought years and years ago, um, which I wore to my nan's funeral, my mum's mum's funeral, which was very, very sad when she died. I was only, I think I was maybe 13 or 14, um, but she died, like basically, she didn't really have to die. She had an illness and she didn't tell everyone, she didn't tell anybody about it, which I just feel like elderly people sometimes do. They think, oh, I don't want to be a bother and they just don't tell anyone, um, which is, yeah, basically what happened. Um, so it was a very, very sad time and I was at that kind of age. It was a difficult age. Um, but yeah, I, I bought this necklace to wear with the outfit that I wore to her funeral. Um, the necklace looks very, very <laughs> worse for wear now, but um, it's so nice to just come across it. This is what I love with organising, but this is the only other thing with organising. Do you find this where you're, you're like in the middle of going through stuff and then suddenly you find things and then you sit there for ages looking at them? <laughs> that is what's happening. There's some other pieces of jewellery in here as well. And I, I remember buying this one and this one. It's like a little matching, so it's a little necklace and then it was these beads and I can't remember what I bought that for now I think it was um some special event I'd gone to or something when I was much younger it must have meant something anyway because I've kept it and I can't even remember what it is but I, I definitely definitely remember this necklace oh this is nice I forgot how much I love this one this is the Elemis soothing apricot toner I've lost the lid for it but um, yeah, I forgot how nice that is actually. It's just like a spritz over your face. So I'm gonna pop that back into my kind of every week usage kind of thing and just use that to like freshen up makeup and stuff. Cause that is lovely. This is what the little gingerbread bronzer came in. And the, I think, the, what else came in here? I think an eyeshadow or something came in here. Um, but I'm definitely keeping this because just look how cute it is. It's a little makeup bag, which is just totally, I mean, it's absolutely like useless. You couldn't even get anything in there. It's the most useless makeup bag I've ever come across, but it's so freaking cute that I'm keeping it. Maybe we'll keep him in there and he can look after like all of the fake tans because he looks very nice and tanned and shimmery. This is the Stila Vintage Black Gold Magnificent Metal Eyes. Um, it looks like this. And I remember this being really cool. Let's see what it looks like. I'll have other makeup on there. Oh my God, wow. Gosh, look at that. And I've just like bought it and stopped using it. That is stunning. I'm gonna get that one back out, pop that in here and actually try and use that one. Mm, this is actually a really nice toner, which I will, oh God. I'm gonna put this on top. This is my deodorant, which I'm gonna pop that on top so I can easily get to this bit. But this is the wild deodorant. I've been getting back into it. I kept forgetting that I have the wild deodorant and I kept buying my normal Dove one. But I have bought a refill for this now and it's so nice, I love it. barely wear eyeshadow anymore I normally just do it for videos because like when I'm filming a video I like to just do all my makeup and stuff it's kind of a it's kind of an excuse for me to sit down and do my makeup nice so that's probably most of the time when I use an eyeshadow or like for an evening out I would but I mean I'm not going out many evenings so yeah eyeshadow I don't need many of these palettes so I think I'm actually going to probably get rid of a lot of them it's kind of a bit sad because I feel like some of these are like memories of when I started doing makeup and stuff like that wearing makeup they're just kind of rotting away in the cupboard so I think I'll just um probably get rid of them this was like my first ever eyeshadow palette that I bought so I'm going to keep this one uh, it's a Smashbox full exposure I actually 
my friend might have bought me it. No, I think I bought it. Uh, but look at that. It's just a beautiful neutral palette. I just feel like actually that's a lot of that is all you need, isn't it? And I loved it. I mean, I could probably still use it now, to be honest. A really nice black in there. So I will keep this palette, obviously. It's very old, but it's kind of memories. Um, this one's nice, but just don't use it. Will I use it? It's the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudy Number no. 2 eyeshadow palette. It's very nice. I do like the colours, uh, but I never, ever reach for it. So I might just pop this in my give to friends and family box. Uh, it's another smash box. This is the double exposure. I didn't like this one as much. So again, I'll um, pop that in the family friendly one. This Anastasia Beverly Hills. I remember getting this palette and being so excited about buying it. Um, this is what it looks like inside. Actually, I don't really like the eyeshadows. They're not very good. They're very powdery. They don't really last on the eye. And that one's going to just be chucked, I think. Probably chuck that one as well, actually. Um, this is a... This is an Audi one. It's like a dupe of the Urban Decay. But uh, I don't use it. The colours, they're a little bit bland. A little bit, not much pigment in them. And yeah, I never, ever reach for this palette. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is a nice one though. Uh, this is the Nude Rich by Huda Beauty. And I do like this one. It's it's a little bit warm toned. I don't like reach for it that much. But I do really enjoy the size of this palette. This is much more what I like. Small palettes with a few colours in them. Which is another reason why I love this one. This is the Natasha Denona palette. It's called the Mini Love Palette, and this one is so cute. Uh, they're tiny little eyeshadows. The Natasha Denona eyeshadows are very, very good. Um, these are really lovely colours. I've barely used it. Um, so I will pop this kind of at the top of my makeup drawer, just so that I do reach for it a little bit to get some use out of it. Um, but yeah, there's not many eyeshadow palettes I'm going to actually keep. What is even in here? Oh, this is all my eyelashes. Right. What are we going to do with all this? Those, they were so wrong, like camel's eyelashes. I thought, no. I think I'll get rid of all these eyelashes. But I do have eyelashes I wouldn't mind putting back in here. So let me get rid of these. I think these are all off now anyway. Oh, my God. That is definitely off. Okay, get rid of those. Yeah. I think we just get rid of all of this, apart from the removers. The removers are quite good. And the little applicators. But all the glue and stuff, I'm going to chuck because it's been in there a while. Like there was some kind of organizational skills going into this little pot here i think i'm going to reorganize it and i'm going to use this little pot to put all of my lipsticks in because lipsticks lip gloss lip liners i quite well i usually wear very similar colors if not the same but then for like an evening out i'll wear a different color or maybe i'm going a bit natural wear a different color so i do have a little selection of lipsticks that are like my regular go-to so i think i'm going to use this as a lipstick container and then I just know exactly where to find them when I want them because otherwise I'm normally digging around in like all different handbags to find where I put my lips. Oh, 
okay, I think I have actually got somewhere. So here is all of my boxes. So I have this one with hair care in, this one with skincare. I think it's mainly skincare. Yeah, I think it's all skincare and a little bit of makeup in here. Stuff that um, I use mostly during the week at some point and then same here i've got a couple of little makeup things actually i reckon i can fit um all of the makeup in this one so i think i'll keep this one for like little makeup bits and bobs that i do like to reach for oh that lip gloss can go in my lipstick section because i do like wearing this lip gloss this is the fenty lip gloss lip gloss bomb or something like that um in shade shade is that fussy so that one can go in there so i think in these two i'm just keeping makeup bits that i do like to reach for every now and again and then in here i'm going to pop skincare bits that i reach for and then also like i suppose just not disposable bits but like these sorts of bits like powder puffs these spoolies um i'll probably actually put these cotton pads in there as well so then here I have the SPF stuff, which is not even, there's not even that much in here, is there? So I don't really need a whole basket for my sun lotion. So I might do something else with them and then free up this basket or something. I don't know, but I suppose it's quite nice to actually not have. Oh, maybe, because I didn't really have anywhere to put my, ignore this on my hand. <laughs> this is me testing out all the makeup. I didn't have anywhere to put my mask. So actually I reckon I'm going to put masks and sunscreen together in here. So I'll do that in a minute. These are bits that I wear. Oh, not that one. That's a mask. These are things that I wear every day. So I'm going to pop those into my proper makeup box in a minute when I organize that. These are lashes and eyeshadow palettes, but these bits will fit in the drawer here without having to be in a box, if you know what I mean. And then here I have all of my favourite lipsticks and stuff that I use quite regularly. So I've got those quite nicely set up in there now. Then I've got some perfumes that I don't really reach for, but I use if I just want a quick spritz or something, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so that's just a little selection of perfume there. I do have my favourite perfumes like displayed out here, but I'll, put, I'll pop these ones in the drawer. Here I have a little selection of travel size things. So I'll just put these in a box somewhere and um, grab these if I go away anywhere. This is my box of stuff that i've never used it's all new stuff um or maybe like i've swatched it once or something and it's not for me um so i'm going to pop this on my vintage i don't know whether to just put this all as um oh these are some auction stuff i got as well so i'll probably because i got quite a few of these from the auction so i'm going to sell them but i don't know whether to sell it as a whole bundle or what but yeah that will be organized i have all this stuff over here as well that's all filled with makeup from my auction videos and makeup that I still need to sell. Actually, these bits here can go in this box there. Then I have fake tanning stuff. This is stuff that I'm gonna offer to family and friends. It's stuff that I've used, but it's still okay. A little bit of festival stuff there. Um, so yeah, I think I've done quite well. Still looking messy, but this is all gonna go into the drawer quite nicely. sort out my daily makeup box by the way i just want to mention my makeup box first it's from beauty fact and this thing is so handy it is a bit of a mess at the minute and for some reason it squeaks such a handy thing it needs a clean the mirror is really dirty but i take this everywhere with me even when i'm traveling it's so good you can get so much in it and then it lights up um, and you can like change the colors and stuff it's a really cool thing um but yeah this is my everyday makeup box but it's a little bit of a mess now and I just want everything in here to just be 
only the things that I use each day and for it to be looking very neat and tidy. So I'm going to sort it out. The brushes are all okay, I think. I might just give like a little clean. I might just take them out and just clean the little brush section and pop them back. Just give this a little spruce up. These brushes are actually from Beauty Effect as well. And they're actually really nice. I like them especially because they'll see match the packaging and stuff, but um, they're actually really nice brushes. And then makeup. So I'm gonna put on this side, everything that I do use every day. And I'm gonna pop over here stuff that I'm not using every day at the moment. And then I'm gonna get rid of those bits and just pop them in the drawer next to me. So I can still grab them because the, all the stuff in here I do use on a regular basis, but just not every day. But I want this to be my everyday box. So that is every day. You can also see my everyday makeup and stuff then if you are interested. Um, this is just a little compact mirror. So I keep that in here and I use that every day. This is my setting spray. It's not actually the Pixie Glow Mist. It is actually the Urban Decay All Nighter, but I just put it in this little one so it fits in here. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So good. Use that every day. This glow screen. This is the Super Goop, Super super goop glow screen and oh my god this stuff is amazing i bought this little kind of sample size off vinted uh just to kind of give it a go but it is really really good but this little pouch is what that mirror that's stuck on there stays in so i'm actually gonna pop that mirror back in here and then i'll only use that one when i need it so i'll put that over here nars orgasm blush oh my god the nicest blush ever and then give it a buff with this, so that cleans it up nice. Oh yeah, that works. Oh, that's cleaned it up nicely. Lovely. So I might keep this little cloth in here somewhere, just so that when I need to clean the mirror, I can. This is the charging cable for the for this, but I'm not going to keep it in here now. I'm just going to take out nail file, which also. It's the same brand, Beauty Effect Nail File. It is lovely. It's a glass one, but I don't use it every day. Little selection of glittery eyeshadows. These Focalure glitter eyeshadows are amazing. Honestly, I'm going to show you them because they're just so good. Um, this is the gold one. They're almost just like pure glitter. Really, really nice. I'm hoping you can see this okay. But yeah, they're really lovely. Um, and these are the colours that I quite like. So I've got a gold one, this one's all broken, but this is like a bronzy one. And then I have this really cool purple one. I'll show you this as well, because this is lovely. A bit like a duochrome purple. It's like purple and blue. Look at that, it's so cool. They're really lovely individual eyeshadows. But like I was telling you earlier, I don't really wear eyeshadows that often. This is my favourite one. So if I do want a little bit of a shadow, this is what I'll put on. This is the Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter in shade Ritz. So um, I do use these, so I want to keep them close by, but I'm not going to keep them in here because I don't use them every day. This is my everyday skincare. So I use the Medicube 14.5 deep vita c ampule i use this every other morning and then in between that i use the the ordinary buffet this is the multi-technology peptide serum i think it's changed names now uh, but it's like an anti-aging plumping serum i think it's supposed to do i think it, it feels really nice anyway so i alternate those in the morning and then every single night i use my ordinary retinoid 2% emulsion so I go for the 2% one I tried the 5% and my skin didn't like it and there's a 0.5 I think and it definitely that one doesn't really do anything so that's my skincare routine and uh, that's a little brow oil I don't really use that very often um so this this is the revolution bronzing cream and actually this is such a dupe for the NARS one so that's the revolution one and this is the NARS one. Obviously, the NARS one's got a little bit of a warmer tone to it. Um, but this is lovely. I have used quite a lot of this. Um, it's really nice. So I'm going to keep hold of it. I'm loving the colour of the NARS at the moment. But this one's nice for the winter. It's a bit more cool toned. Uh, so I will keep that one. But over there. And then this section is brushes and stuff. Um, again, these are the Beauty Fet brushes. They're really nice. They definitely need a wash. I am going to be washing all my brushes. I'm not going to do that in this video, but that is a job that will be getting done. 
This was a random find and it's so good. It's the Radiant Lift Long Lasting Radiance Foundation and it is SPF 30. I've got it in shade Warm Almond at the moment and I absolutely love it. So um, yeah, I'm definitely using that one up. Finally, we are all done. I'm just gonna show you how it's all looking. So this is the little tray bit. I've cleared that off. Um, just put two little notebooks here and I will keep my iPad in here as well when I'm not using it. Um, and then here is the main drawer that was like the disaster drawer and it's now just so much tidier. I know it doesn't look that tidy, like some of the stuff's kind of like falling all over the place a little bit, but this is organized to me. Like I know exactly where everything is. This is all of my regular kind of skincare and makeup stuff that I want to use. Um, those are my regular lipsticks in there, which are all laid out. These are some perfumes, which like I'll say, I know I use sometimes. This is just like cards, loyalty cards and stuff like that. So I've just kept them in there. Uh, lash stuff is all here hair stuff is all in there and then behind there is makeup and stuff that I still like to use but I don't use that often so basically the stuff that I took out of my makeup daily makeup kit then I have my little bits here from my beauty vet box I've got my nail file tweezers and mirror just there so I can grab that just these random bits here um, I have these pads here which I use well I use these a lot actually I use these about three times a week. They're the deep vitamin C pads from Medicube and they're so, so good. Um, the vitamin C stuff from Medicube is like chef's kiss. And then these four boxes are all organized. So this one's got all the tanning stuff in it. This is my face masks and my SPF. And then in this one here, I did just pop in all of my travel size stuff. So if I'm ever going away, I just grab this down and I can grab like little travel size things in there. So yeah, we are very, very organized and I'm feeling really, really good about it. So I feel like I've done quite well. I feel so good about it now. I feel really good that everything is just where I want it, within an arm's length of where I sit when I do my makeup and stuff in the morning. So yeah, really, really excited about that. So happy it's done. I'm kind of happy it's over because when all of that stuff was on the floor, that was very daunting, but yeah, it's all gone. We've got two bags of rubbish. So that is a lot of rubbish cleared out. So feeling good. I really hope you guys found this video satisfying and you enjoyed it. And maybe it spurred you on to kind of sort out some cupboards in your own houses. Anyway, let me know in the comments if it has. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I really hope to see you in the next one. And also don't forget to check out HelloFresh. I'll leave the link in the description box below just in case you're interested to try it out. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.